pajama bag. Good morning, come on. Come on, Brooklyn. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're really pleased with the way the breakfast and lunch program is going this year. We saw a great increase in our participation rates at breakfast and lunch both. We're maintaining that so they've had to hire us an extra cook. <laughs> the state introduced the program to us, you know, they're doing a pilot program in seven counties, I believe it is, and Mingo County was one of the counties. We were really pleased because research shows that students who have a good breakfast and lunch, you know, do better in school. So we're keeping the data of their participation rates and then looking at our attendance. Uh, we'll be looking at test scores and all the data to see if it has made a difference. Well, for me, it's working very well because these children have learned a procedure and uh, they're so happy to have this free breakfast. And we're able to stay on task, we're, we're full, so we're not constantly thinking about food. It's kind of like treating the whole child. If a kid's hungry, he may not do as well, you know, during the school day. He may have come to school hungry, you know, and, and we provide breakfast. We provide breakfast in the classroom. We provide, if they can't get here early enough, there's a grab-and-go breakfast here after the first, because the older kids, tend to like to eat later. I said, if you meet the need of the whole child, then, you know, you can meet the educational needs if you've met the basic human needs first. You know, we're in the business of education, and we want to educate children not only about what, you know, what they need to know to get them prepared for the business world or to be gainfully employed, but we want to educate them on what they need to do to, to stay healthy and happy throughout the lifetime.